Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sewing. I know I haven't, the last time I sewed was a Barbie like dress, but from my, on my YouTube channel. But since then I've also made clothes. So if you want to see me making any clothes or give me suggestions what I could make in the comments down below. And then I will try to make a YouTube video. I'm gonna try to upload a YouTube video at least at every end of the month since the last YouTube video I made was like six months ago I'm sorry about that but I will try to upload more videos more often and please before I, I get into the vis this video started please don't, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to click that bell to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Let's get into the video. Okay, so to make this pencil pouch, you will need 18 centimeters times 25 centimeters. You need four of them, two for the outside and two for the inside. And then you need this little piece that is five centimeters times seven centimeters for the zipper end. So it looks more neat, a finish touch basically. And then you need this piece that is 10 centimeters times seven centimeters. That is so you can pull it down so then you can take out pencils. And then the zipper is 20 centimeters long. You can even have it longer, but it depends on how big you want your pencil case to be. And then you need this big piece that is for the outside, the top part. And it has to be 34 centimeters times 22 centimeters. These are options that you can use. You don't have to use it. And you need fusible fabric that you can fuse with the iron. And this is 32 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And this is 18 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters. You need two of them. They have to be fusible. And I use different fabrics because I didn't have much of this left. The first thing we have to do is iron. And then you also need this and this part. The long, the long, the biggest piece that you have, that's what you're going to use. Then you have to iron it on and I'll be right back. Um, for this, I actually decided not to use the other one because it didn't end up working the what I thought it would work. So I used the scraps of this fabric and it worked really well. But the only thing you have to know is that the shiny side goes down, facing down, not up. I would also recommend you kind of ironing the sides down. Of course, if you don't have an ironing, you can also do it without this material. But with this material, it will be more stabilized. Now, we will have to, I already measured it out. So now you have to measure four centimeters on both sides from this part to here and here too. And from the dot that you made, you have to measure three centimeters up both sides again. One centimeter from this, from the edge to kind of try to line it up with this line that you made. And then you make a dot one centimeter below. So you measure from here to here, one centimeter. When you have done those, that on both sides, you will measure from the corner to the lowest dot you have made. And from the lowest dot you have made to the line, with three centimeters you make a line too on both sides and in the middle of here it should be 10 centimeters and when you did that you will have to do that on all of these four fabrics the both of the outsides and both of the inside and then you have to cut out the parts so then we can go on to the next part i cut this out all four sides and I already went and sewed this part where you have to sew the zipper both sides. And as you can see, you just have the only thing you have to look at is that the zipper part is not on the wrong side. But since this is an invisible zipper, it's okay that this part is on this side because this is the outside of mine. 
And so the only thing you have to look at is when you sew this, that when you sew it like this, that this the zipper is facing the fabric that is supposed to be on the outside. And then what I also did is I folded in the sides of the zipper so then it had like an end to it so it wouldn't um, like go on. So then when you close it, it doesn't go on. That's just how it, it will stay then. And so what I also almost forgot is since I'm going to do an additional thing to my pencil pouch, I'm just going to fold this over and I'm going to sew it on like that. I wouldn't recommend sewing like on the zipper and you can sew it really neatly closed. Make sure that the other fabric isn't underneath or you'll sew the two fabrics together. And also when you have, a, when you hit the corner, you will have to put the needle down, lift the foot up and then you just turn. You can't really fold it and sew it like that. You'll just have to do a zigzag line across. Okay, so now I'm back. And then here, you also have, do not sew this part. Don't sew that part. And also you have to leave this a hole on the inside part. So then you can also flip back over and this is also what we still have to sew here and it is more stable so then it also can stand too of course you don't need this whole thing i will be back when i sew these the edges here so this is how it looks like now i sewed these parts of the edges on this side where it was open where you were supposed to leave it open I just sewed it with a straight stitch and you could also sew this by hand closed but I decided to just straight stitch it to on this top part you can sew one line across so then the fabric stays in the place that you want it to be you can also just leave it because you're going to use this I will going to show you when I'm done sewing this line across. This still comes there that you have to cut in half and then you fold it too and you put it on the sides and so then you can pull it down really easy. Now I have sewn it. You see this line, I've sewn it. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it like that. You can kind of see what I mean because of um, the, the stability, it's more stable kind of and so on this on the ends here you're just going to fold this in it's going to be easier because if you pre um pre iron it down you'll have it'll be much easier with pins and you have to leave an opening the only thing i would watch is when you fold it that you leave a little space here, like maybe a finger wide or two fingers. And on this side too, I would, instead of put pinning it like that, I would put a pin in this, so then you know, do not sew there. So where I, I'm not going to sew is these edges. You always have to check that when you fold this, that exactly there, you have two needles popping out. And so this is what you're going to do. Do not sew here and here, but sew along this here and here. And I will be right back. So this is how it looks like. I've sewn all of these parts, a, a whole line across. And as you can see, I left some space. You have to leave some space. So then I already cut the one in half it is almost as big as the five by seven but it's a little bit bigger it's the five um ten by seven and you have to cut that in half those that want to use a ruler to be more um accurate can use a ruler i'm not going to use it i didn't use a ruler and you can you just try to Fold it into the middle, kind of. And then you just fold both sides 
into the middle, at least try to fold it as close to the middle. And the spaces need to be big enough to fit this in. And you have to sew a line across like this side and this side. And when you did that, you fold it like this. You put it into here. If not, you can also make it a little bit smaller and open, make it overlap. Doesn't matter that much, but you have to do that first. And if you won't really want it to be that big, you can just use a seam ripper to rip the seams open a little bit. We'll do that and I'll be right back. So I, I came back now. I'm done with sewing this. I just wanted to show you. So this is how you sew it on. You just fold it, you fold it up like that, and take the other side, and then sew across the line. This is the extra piece I'm using. I'm also going ahead, going to go ahead and sew that piece on. I've sewn on the other sides, both sides, and what I would recommend when you sew it on. You lay it flat like this so you know that it's the same size on both sides or one will be longer or sh one shorter. And so then I sew down this on here because this is going to kind of be the front. Now you grab your other piece, the pencil case, the actual pencil case. Like that. And what I will what you have to do now is make that these are on this line so two lines across here the top not anywhere else just the top part which goes on this part you have to put this on but it's just basically for decoration so you can put it on like this and you just um, you kind of fold this up. You can also use this an, an ironing for this and fold up the sides and then you put it on here. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. And you have to fold it like this and you have first sew it the cross line here and the cross line here. And then you take your pencil case. You kind of fold these ends down kind of. You can also sew a line here if you want it, so it stays down. And then you put, and then you put this on here. So now we're at the end of this video, and hope you have enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to check out my TikTok account to see more updates or on my recent sewing because sometimes I do upload videos of me sewing, but some of them. I haven't showed yet so also please go follow me on instagram because sometimes i will post pictures of some of the sewing like projects i've made and also if you want to see any different type of project i will try to make it and also please comment down below whatever type of project you want me to make next or you would like me to make or even a DIY it can be basically anything and if you want me to make this CD how to make the CD then my next video is probably gonna be on how to make a CD like this and I will also show you like how to make it more clear and that's it for this video so hopefully you have liked this video and i'll see you next time bye